Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to try to find the derivative of this function here. As you can see, our function is y equals the log in base x, where x is our variable, of 5. So this is unusual, right? Because most of the time we get, you know, y equals log in base uh, and we have some number of x and uh, we often deal with that function. But this is quite different because here the base of the logarithm is our variable. So how can we find the derivative of this function? Well, firstly, let's try to find the domain of this function so we know for what values of x this equation here makes sense. So uh, to do that, we can rewrite this as x to the y equals to 5 because of the properties of logarithms, actually their definition. Uh, firstly, you may have noticed that x cannot be equal to 1 because 1 to the y, that is a number, the value of our function, but we don't care at the moment, it is just a number, always equals 1, so it cannot be equal to 5. So x cannot be equal to 1. And x has to be greater than 0, because if x were less than 0, this wouldn't have been an exponential function, it would have been discontinuous and uh, it is not the exponential function we're used to. So these are the two conditions for x. Okay, so now we know for what values of x this equation, this weird equation makes sense. Now let's try to find its derivative. Okay, how do we find the derivative of this function? Alright, we said earlier that x to the y equals 5. So we're going to use this equation here to find its derivative because it's easier. We're going to use implicit differentiation. So what we have to do is to apply the derivative on both sides of the equation. So let's put here a huge d over dx. And uh, obviously on the right side, the derivative of 5, it is just a constant, so it's 0. Whereas on the left hand side, we have x to the y. And we have to be a little bit more careful with this one. So let's try to do it. We need to find the derivative of x to the y. And uh, we can rewrite this as e to the natural log of x to the y, because e to the natural log of x to the y equals x to the y. But now, thanks to this e to the natural log, we can bring the y to the front of the natural log, and we get the derivative of e to the y times the natural log of x. This is a lot easier because we have e as the base, so the derivative of this exponential is the exponential, so e to the y natural log of x times the derivative of the expo exponent, so we have times d over dx of y times the natural log of x. Now, and remember that all of these equals zero. And since all of these equals zero, we can just simplify this because this is always greater than zero, so we can do it. And uh, it's fine. Now we have to find the derivative of this stuff here. And uh, how can we do it? We have a product of two functions. So why don't we apply the product rule for derivatives? Obviously we can do this. So the derivative of the first function, so d by, dy by dx times the second function, the natural log of x. Then we have plus the derivative of the second function, the derivative of the natural log of x is one over x times the first function, that is y. And all of this equals zero. Now we're interested in dy by dx. This is the derivative of this function here. So we just need to isolate this dy by dx. And we're going to do it in the following way. Just bring y over x to the other side of the equation. So we have dy by dx times the natural log of x equals to minus y divided by x. Therefore, 
dy by dx equals minus y over x times the natural log of x. But now, what is y equal to? y is our function, so it is log in base x of 5, so this equals to minus log in base x of 5 divided by x times the natural log of x. And we are done. But there's another thing we could do with this function. Uh, we could have done this at the beginning, but I prefer to find the derivative of this function in this way. By the way, uh, what I'm talking about is the log of our function, so the log in base x of 5. This can be rewritten as the natural log of 5 divided by the natural log of x. And we also have this minus in front of here that can be put into the natural log of 5, and uh, the natural log of 5 to the minus 1 is the natural log of 1 over 5, so all of this equals to the natural log 1 over 5, divided by x times the natural log squared of x. And this is our final answer. And uh, yes, this was crazy. It was, you know, cool because this is not a function we always encounter while studying calculus, but I think it's cool and we should pay more attention to these crazy functions. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and as always, until next time, bye!